Hi everyone, so I am here to tell you how my project 10 pan for March 2016 went. So let's dive in, 12 items. Yes, I know I said 10, but didn't do well in February and I had to roll over a couple other things, so I decided to add two extra items. So let's see what happened for March 2016. I am filming this one day early, so that I do have this evening and tomorrow to finish one particular item and I'll share that with you. And that's my Bath & Body Works Sweetheart Honey Sweetheart Lotion. I'm throwing it upside down because there's very little. I had it lying down in my little box here to share with you guys. So I have like two uses. So this will definitely be finished by March 31st, which I will upload um, the update for this then. But um, I'm just, yeah, so that's going to be a finish. So that's like one. These were items that actually finished, so I'm going to go with what finished. I did finish my marshmallow pumpkin latte. Love this. Um, I do think this was seasonal last year, and I don't think it's partly permanent, so finish it. I don't like finishing, you know, seasonal scents, but can't have it go wrong on me, bad on me. Finally finished this caramia, and I know it looks like there's stuff here, but it is finally finally done how long did I take to finish this I took this was almost five to six months to use and for the last two months I was using it some nights so this is a really great bang for your buck if you are in Trinidad and you can get a caramel moisturizer it has SPF 15 I like how I liked how it's um, it works on my face I have a whole review so you can check it out Next product I finished was my Hot Candy Shea Envy Face Primer. It was a, um, I got this in a little kit that had um, some other sample size stuff from Hot Candy. It came with like a bronzer. Well, actually it was two kits. One had a blush, one had a bronzer. They both had primers in them and they had like lip glosses and stuff. But this to me was worth it because I love, love, love that. I had my e.l.f. nail polish in Nude. Was hoping to finish this in February. All these items were actually three items were roll over, so finally finish it. There is like very little here, but I even tilted this upside down and all that kept kept popping out was a little bead thing. Can't get more out of that. And that was in um that's part of the ten polishes I hope to finish by the end of 2016. Then I finished this pigment. It was just more or less a mix of pigment that I had in that I just had in this jar. I'm trying to use up as pigments even though I'm doing Panda palette. So it's kind of a little crazy-ish, but really, really want to clear out things from my collection. So I finally finished this pigment. I do have another pigment. It is a little too sheer. So because I had really like this pigment and it was the last I used for this eye look, um, it's like a taupe color. I want to mix that sheer pigment with a kind of grayish pigment I have. Might put it in here and then try to pan it to sometime later in the year but I keep, I'm keeping these jars these were like sample size jars I got from Mac finally finished oh my gosh today was the last that I used this thing my pomegranate punk color tattoo like hallelujah hands down oh my goodness this I thought I could have pan the little that was in here which was like maybe quarter of the jar um in was it project pan for January or finish um, 14 by February 14? I can't remember, but I thought it would. this would have finished, but it took me forever. I have a, a pencil that I'm using as a base that is in finish 5 by um, Cinco de Mayo. So I'm not really going to put in any base until um, that one is finished. So I'll be rotating through a couple of my different types of base along with that pencil until that one is complete and then maybe sometime in May or June I will add um, something else in one of the monthly project bands. Then I finished another product that was in so many project bands. This is my Garnier Anti Roller, Anti Dark Circle Roller. This thing took me forever. It was in a lot of project bands to finish. Oh my goodness. So happy that's done. Then I was hoping to finish an eyeshadow I was using as a highlight. It was in here. It finished today. Um, a couple of things finished today. Like this finished today. My hard candy finished today. My caramel moisturizer. I started to scrape 
a lot of things finished today so that's why even though I have tomorrow I decided I'm going to film this one day early so I can upload it on time um this so what I'm I finished what out of the 12 I've actually finished hit and I hit completed three and I have hit pan on two in here so this is the next palette that I will be trying to focus on for palette palette if you need to check out my update um I think it's either up already if it's not up already it's gonna be coming up in a day or two then I wanted to hit pan, um, finish the duochrome color that's here but I have one more use I don't know if you guys can see but there's like a little shadow there and some there so tomorrow when I put on eyeshadow I will definitely use that and that's gonna finish because I usually use it with my crease or blend it out so that's that's gonna finish out and then yeah so I consider this a finish also so I had two products that I didn't finish which is a good thing that I put in 12 items and not 10 I didn't finish my foundation and that was because this was a little off for me it was a tad darker so I had to squeeze a lighter foundation in it which of course made it um, added more productive but this is where it's at and I will be um, putting this back into April's project 10 pan um, because I will be adding some other foundations I decided I wanted to work on my Mac studio fix fluid um, foundation in addition to uh, another one because I've had it for so long and I want to like just use up a couple more of my at max stuff because I have had a lot of those things for a while and the last item that I did not finish was this me now long lasting and I knew I was not going to finish this um, my goal really was just to put some use into it because I am putting it into April's um, project 10 pan and I'm gonna use this in conjunction with my Arista raspberry punch lipstick which has to finish by May 5th so that is more or less where um, we stand I have finished one two three four I'm just double check four five six seven eight nine ten I did finish ten products um, for March so I'm like super excited like I mean I was like thinking okay what do I go and buy now <laughs> um, to celebrate so I think from last month I was at 12 items I think um, in February I finished like 12 items out of 20 so now I am at 22 items out of 30 because each month I was hoping to finish 10 items so I think what I will do for April also would be to put 12 items hoping that I can finish at least 10 and you know just having myself catch up if I can finish all 12 like kudos um, if not then um, I at least try and finish 10 so that is it look out for my empties like I plan to do my empties I have three months of empties on me crazy because I didn't get to do it so that's the next video that I'm hoping to push out right after this so that I can get oh you know get these out of my collection so thank you guys for watching and if you are doing project pan let me know how you're doing let link me up with your videos because I am so into or so pumped and psyched with this project planning so thanks so much for your time thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed go ahead and do so so you can get my videos in your news feed and thanks you thanks so much for your support